good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'm often asked by clients, how do I create a waterfall chart? In a waterfall chart, as we'll see here, and you'll notice that this is based on the uh, cash flow that I see here in the data. In the waterfall chart, each new column displays as a rise if the number is positive. So I can see for these various months where there were positive uh, cash flows involved that they show as rises. But if the number is negative, if uh, the cash flow is negative, the column displays as a fall relative to the previous value. So what I need to do is to learn how to create that chart. There's a few steps involved and if I go to the next sheet with my data in it, there's the starting data and I can see the carryover balance was $9,000 in the cash flow and there are the various uh, cash flow situations at the end of each month. Now if I chart that particular data just as, as normal I'll insert a um, uh, column chart. It looks nothing like a waterfall chart. It's not what I want at all. So I'm going to delete that chart and the first thing I'm going to do is to insert three columns. So I'll insert three columns there and I'll call this one base. I'll call this one fall and I'll call this column rise. So there are my headings. Now what I need to do is to in the fall uh, cell C4 I'm going to type a, a formula there and that formula will, will be an if statement to convert the negative numbers that it finds in column E to positive numbers. Remember that two minuses make a plus. So equals if and open a bracket and test E4 and is E4 less than or equal to zero? If it is, show minus E4. Remember two minuses make a plus, otherwise show zero. Close the bracket, press return and I'll now autofill that down. So I've made my negative numbers appear as positive numbers. If the numbers were positive, I wanted them to show as a zero according to my particular formula up here in the formula bar. In the rise column, I'll type the same formula, but this time I'll leave E4 as positive. So I'll say equals E4, no, my apologies, equals if E4 is greater than 0, then show me E4 in the cell. Otherwise, show 0. Close the bracket. So it's a straightforward if statement. I press return and there is my positive number showing as a positive number. Now I'll just auto fill that down. And here I can see the negative numbers are showing, of course, as zeros because each cell is being tested uh, uh, for what is in column E4. Now I'm going to make a chart based on the rises and the falls. Thus, and I'll go into the insert the column chart. Actually, uh, I'll use the stacked column. And there I see the rises and the falls have been uh, uh, separated but they won't display relative to the last value. So I'll delete that chart and what I need to do is to construct a formula to make a base value that will prop those values up to the appropriate height. So I'll delete that, that chart and what I'm going to do here in, the, uh, in cell B5 I'm going to type a formula equals B4 plus D4 minus C5. 
and there I see my um, answer I'll copy that formula down there we go now what I'm going to do is to create a chart a stacked column chart by inserting a stack column and here I now see in my chart that the rises and falls are now separated because I have a base for uh, for me to work on. Now what I need to do once the base is doing its job I now need to make the base invisible so I'm going to right click on any base value and go down to format data series and in the fill I'm going to say no fill in the border color I'm going to say no line and in the series options I'll just make the uh, the gap width between them 11% just to uh, see how that looks 11% and now if I click close having done that and click away there is my waterfall chart I see the word base here I don't particularly want that I'll click on it and I'll press delete and of course I can resize the chart now by uh, pointing at the corner handles whoops and uh, there we go there's my um, there's my waterfall chart and it looks uh, exactly the same uh, other than a little bit of resizing as the one back here. So that's how you can create a waterfall chart uh, folks. Uh, a number of steps involved but by gee it's well worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know this is uh, rather more advanced than the uh, average chart that we, uh, that we make but unfortunately Excel don't give us the facility to create a waterfall chart uh, which many people like to see. Thank you so much for watching again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, any comments uh, and thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Bye for now.